guys, Bill coming back at you again with another video. So today we're going to be looking at the seedlings that we popped this week. Uh, we might be doing some training on another autoflower that I started a few weeks ago. And we'll check out the Blue Dream in the web. Okay guys, so last week we picked out a few different autoflowers to run in the 25 by 5 foot tent. So let's take a look and see how they made out. Okay, so this is the early miss here. Yeah, she could have been planted yesterday. Uh, and this is the purple kush. And no, that ink is on the outside of the bag, not on the paper towel. So they're safe. So I got a couple of cups ready here. PK and early miss. So I'm just going to uh, plant them up now. I will be uh, transplanting these. I usually transplant all my seeds, photo period, and autoflowers. I know some people don't like that because that's breaking the rules, but I've never once had an issue. And I just pick them up with my fingers very gently. So I do not want to squeeze that at all. Pop it in the hole. And I don't like to plant them too far under the surface, just a little bit. Pack that ground in there. There, we have the one. Now I can actually still see just a tiny bit of that seed right there. So I do not like to go too far deep with them. Okay, now we're gonna take this one the early miss now this is I have to be very careful with this because her shell is pretty much off so very gently stick her in the hole pack some dirt down there not enough to break that uh, break that root but enough to pack it around the root so, and I'm going to leave this one actually right above the surface. Okay. So now I'm going to take uh, just a water bottle. Let's see here. And, yeah, I need a new water bottle. This one sucks. And I'm going to give them a good squirt. Now this Pro Mix was... Uh, soaked this morning I got the cups ready and I soaked them down and this is again this is Pro Mix HP so I think that's probably enough and just gonna just gonna tap again just to get some of that bigger perlite out of the way there There we go. So now I'm not going to put these very close to the light. I'm going to leave them down in the bottom of my uh, my two and a half by five foot tent. I'm going to leave them down at the bottom with just a little bit of light on it till this one pops out and opens its leaves all the way, and then I'll bring the lights down a little bit. But because she's still very young, very young. So yeah. So that's the early miss and the. Purple Kush autoflowers. And we will come back when they've opened up. Wouldn't surprise me if that's tonight for this one and probably tomorrow for this one. And hopefully by then the Skittles will pop and we can put her in her cup. Okay guys, I just wanna show you this quickly. I wanna get her in her pot. Uh, a day and a half later, this is the Skittles autoflower seed. Seed lean almost. Uh, she's ready to go. So I'm gonna plant her up here and put her with the other ones Okay, so now I'm gonna I just brought out the other two and I'm just gonna Give this one a good spray here Now the pro mix is soaked beforehand, so I don't need too much, but I still want to give it a little bit just to make sure the 
everything kind of settles around the the root there the root was pretty crooked so so and again once I picked it up the the seed part actually fell off so uh, it's on top of the surface there now this one here this is the PK let me give her a good squirt and the early miss so this is how I feed my seedlings for uh, at least a week up to two weeks until I start seeing some uh, vigorous growth and then I start to add a little bit of nutrients to it. Okay guys, so it's been four or five days. Let's take a look at them today. Okay, so here they are in the two and a half by five foot tent. We have, this is PK. She's doing the best right now. This is the Skittles and this is the early mess. So I've been using my spray bottle to uh, feed them. Now today, it's first thing in the morning, I'm going to feed them again. Uh, just lift them up and they feel a little bit light, so they need a little bit of water. So now you can either use your mister, continue to use that, or at this stage, I usually just grab, I have this little uh, watering can here. So I'll just go ahead and uh, feed them with this. So I'll just go around the outside there. And this one. Now I don't want to get any water on the leaves at this point because I don't want to burn them. And even when you're spraying with the mister, you don't want to get too much on the leaves. Okay, so we'll just let that go through for a bit. Now I can see this one is running off out the bottom. So is this one. And this one not as much it's just starting so just give it a little bit more there that's plenty so now she's she's dripping out the bottom pretty good so uh, yeah that's how I feed them at this stage there are what uh, four or five days in now so I don't feed them any nutrients at this point uh, when cannabis seedlings pop they almost have a built-in starter pack, so they don't really need any food at all for the first week, sometimes even up to two weeks or so. Um, so what I do is I basically look at each one, look at the growth, look at the structure, look at all that, and uh, decide when to feed them individually. So like this one is twice as big as, as the other ones. So I'm assuming uh, this one will start getting fed before the rest of them because it's just going to be a little farther along so anyway that's how we'll do it and I'll keep uh, I'll keep some updates of when I first start feeding these guys uh, people have been asking me my routine with my seedlings so I figured I'd just break it down a little bit so that's them today at uh, I think it's four and five days old and I'll keep you updated on them so now let's take a look over here we have something here now this here is a Skittles also. Now I started a couple of these, uh, it's been almost a month ago I think now, I didn't even mark it down. But as soon as I got the package I dropped a couple and uh, I kind of jumped the gun because I didn't need them at that point. So I gave one away and I figured I'd keep this one. So today I just want to, I haven't done anything to it and it didn't have a great start because I had the reveg in here. So I have the SP3000 in here and I had it like way up at the top because of the, uh, the reveg to keep it high enough off of that. So this, this plant was like four to, four to five feet, probably four feet away from the light at the very beginning. So uh, maybe five. So it didn't have the greatest light. Uh, it didn't stretch as much as I thought it would, but it probably would have been a lot better if it had optimal light throughout its whole growth so it's not going to get very big now we'll see the difference between this one and this one because this one i have the lights down they're probably about three feet away right now so uh, we will see if there's any difference there so 
Now I haven't touched this. Like I said, I was going to give it away and I thought I'd decide to keep it. So uh, uh, I'm going to... Haven't really even looked at it much yet. Let's look at the structure here. Now she's starting to put out hairs. We can see... We can see the uh, she's put no hairs now. So she'll probably go into flower probably in about a week or so, I'm assuming. So, so we have a week. If we want to do anything to it, we should do it right now. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to bend her right down. Uh, she's got a week, uh, possibly a little bit more. So I think what I'll do is I'll bring it out and uh, I'm going to super crop it right down. Again, I should have done this sooner, but things happen so anyway so i'll go uh i'll set it up on the table and put you guys on the tripod and we will bend her down and see what we can do with her now i do find that sometimes if you stress them at the right time she won't flip as fast so it'll kind of add a week or two of veg so hopefully i'm i'm kind of hoping that's what happens with this like she's starting her pre-flower, but I'm hoping we can hold off that flower to get a little more growth out of her. So, so let's take her over to the table and I'll put you on the tripod and we will train her down. Okay guys, so we're gonna bend her over. Now the stock is fairly woody already. Again, I should have done this sooner, but I think what I'll do is I'll come up a couple of inches here and bend it here. Actually, I think I'll bend it right here. Doesn't look quite as bendy there. So, so first thing I'll do is I'll grab one of these used pipe cleaners and we will anchor her down. So we're gonna go that way with her. So I wanna anchor her here, anchor the base so that uh, So she doesn't get pulled out of the ground. So we're going to go around the base here. Put two holes in. Feed that through. I'll bend that down because it's going to bend anyway. There we go. So we'll just bend that down a bit there. Now we'll come over this side. Now we got the, the first leaves there. They're browned up. They've served their purpose so they can go. And now I'm gonna get in here and I'm just gonna get in there and I'm gonna squeeze that stock. I'm gonna twist it. I'm going to squeeze it. She's pretty tough. Just rock it a little bit. Yeah, she's really tough. There she goes. Okay, I think right about there is probably good. So I will stick a hole here. Grab another pipe cleaner, stick it through. Cinch it a little bit. Now I'm gonna come right in here put it around now you don't have to you don't have to twist this up tight or anything just double it over give it a bit of a squeeze and that'll hold all right so now i'm going to do a little defoliation too so so we know uh within the day this is going to be 
point it back up towards the light so it'll be up here so we, we know this is going to cover everything down there so we're going to take her off there this is blocking down there we're going to take this off Now there's one down here that's hitting the dirt. We don't want that, so we're gonna take that one off. And it's mostly the big ones. The biggest, oldest leaves are usually the ones that end up coming off. All right, so now I am gonna pull her out just a little bit, so we have these two here. I'm gonna pull down this way, so we'll do that. All right, so we'll put a hole here. And we'll grab a hold of this. And we're just again, we're not going to we're not going to twist that up. We're just going to bend it. That'll be enough to hold it down where we want it. We'll go over on this side, do the same thing here. Now these are old twist ties that I've used before. You can use them up a few times before they get too dirty and uh, they just start breaking apart after a while when they get damp and dried out. So we'll come up underneath this one. Now you want to be pretty gentle. You don't want to be snapping it because you're going against where it comes out of the stock we're bent, bending it down so we're kind of going against the uh, going against the grain there so it wouldn't take much to snap that right off so you want to be careful with that again we're not going to twist it we're just going to give it a bend squeeze it a little bit and there we go now I'm going to take this leaf off here now we got one down here now I want I want that up closer to the top because it's coming out from the back side so if I just pull that up through here, it should, it should grow right up here. This one will straighten out, then you'll have this one, then you'll have this one. And you might be able to do the same thing with this one. We'll just try to pull that up. Now we'll give it a few days. We'll probably have to come in and adjust things a little bit. So now sometimes I might take these big leaves off but I'm not sure where they're quite gonna end up. If they end up underneath of everything, they're fine anyway. So we'll leave it for now. And uh, we'll come back in a couple of days here and check on this. But, uh, so that should give us like, instead of just the one, now this one's gonna point up. Actually, I wanna pull that down just a little bit more. Just a little more. there okay so now instead of when this comes up we're going to have a top here now we should have another top here 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 and and right here so uh it should increase our yield by quite a bit just doing this like this wasn't a, a lot of work it's not that hard um the hardest part is where it's it is quite mature at this point the hardest part is squeezing the stock enough to get it to bend without snapping so that's what we're going to do with it for today i'll get you a close up here okay so this is what she looks like now now she's opened up instead of having one top she'll have multiple tops let me see the bend in her here so we'll come back in a couple of days and then we'll have to uh, adjust these ties up Maybe add a couple more to put things where we want them, and hopefully, hopefully it won't be, it won't flip to flower for at least another week. So, and I think yeah, I think she's uh, four weeks roughly. So we'll come back next week and see how she looks. So now let's take a look at the Blue Dream in the web and see how it's doing. Okay, guys, so there she is. She's doing quite well. 
Now yesterday I did, uh, I pulled a couple of these to the outside of the actual rim because they were long enough and uh, I will probably do a couple of more here. I want to try to keep them at somewhat the same height. So we'll just turn this web around here. Love this thing. Okay, so we have this one here. She's quite tall. Now she's a week into flower, so I don't want to do a whole lot to her, but there is a couple here that I do want to pull down. So I'm basically, I'm just going to grab underneath here. Give it just a slight bend. Whoops. Give her just a slight bend without actually bending it and pop her through that next hole. So there, that lowered her a little bit. Now I could come out even further. I could come right out to the edge. But uh, I think that'll be fine. Now we also have this one here. And I think I will just, uh, I think I'll just pull her down one. So again, we're just gonna bend it just slightly and let her pop back up over here. So now that opened up the center some, which is good. Now this one here, I think I will do this one too. So I'm just gonna grab underneath here, just slightly, slightly bend it, let it roll up and pop up into this one here. Okay, so that gives more room here. Now I have this open area here. Now there's a reason I did that was because I have this main top that's up here. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do the same thing with her that I did with the autoflower just a second ago. So I'm gonna super crop her over. So I'm just gonna pinch the stem here. So this one's much weaker because it's newer growth. So we'll just rock it, pinch it a little bit and we're gonna bend her right down. So we're gonna fill in that area that we just made. So. And now I'll get a twist tie and I'll tie it right to here. And then once we do that, everything is gonna be pretty even. So we don't have any that are like four inches higher than the other ones. So, and I only have so much room my TSW 2000, so I want to keep them all fairly even. Let me tie that up real quick. Okay, so I just put a little twist tie on her here just to tie her up. Or tie her down, I should say. So, there we go. So we've got her spread out pretty near over the whole three foot uh, area. Actually, I can pull this one down maybe one more come down here there we go so we'll fill in that area now this one here uh, I couldn't take this one and just to spread it out just to spread it out because it's fairly close to these ones and there's nothing here so I'm gonna take her and I'm just gonna pull her through this one All right, so that spreads her out. Now we got lots of light. Put this one over here. And we'll stick this one. We'll just pop this one up over here. And let her go. So that kind of fills in a little bit there. Now we can move this one here. Just pop this one down just to come up here. Just trying to fill in all the areas, get everything really nice and spaced out. And uh, at this point, we're probably not going to touch her again. We're probably just going to let her go. And uh, she's still got a couple of weeks worth of, uh, of stretch to do. So by that point, they should be, you know, all the cola should be up here somewhere. And it should be nice and even with uh, just enough room for the light. So that's the blue dream doing really well now we can take a quick look at the auto pots so we're still having some issues here 
but I'm trying some new stuff and it doesn't work overnight. It takes time. Uh, one thing I did do is just to, just to rule out a few things because it's sometimes it's easy to overanalyze because uh, I'm running new lights, a stronger light. I'm running auto pots, which I've never used before. I'm um, using can of nutrients, which I've never used before. And I've never run these strains before. So everything in here is new. It's like I'm growing pretty near for the first time. Although the symptoms should be the same with whatever plant you grow with the, like the yellowing and stuff like that. But uh, for some reason, I'm just having a hard time dialing it in. But uh, anyway, they still got probably a month to go. So I'm really hoping to, to fix this up. So I did take a couple off of the system, put them on, put them in some trays on some risers and these ones I'm feeding the can of nutrients I don't want to change that so I'm feeding the can of nutrients but I'm watering from the top with runoff so that's one thing I'm trying with these these are still these three are still on the uh, auto pot system and uh, so we're trying that there just to see how things go and if I can get these two better doing it this way then I know it was I'll be able to narrow down what the issue is. But anyway, uh, let's take a little look at these buds here. So uh, they're still they're still doing okay. They're still doing not bad. It's just a yellowing I'm not liking. So but I mean they're they're getting pretty frosty. Uh, this one here. Uh, and we got yellow everywhere. We got some red starting over there too, but but the colors are still doing alright. So So as long as we can get them to harvest, we're still going to get a decent yield. But uh, anyway, I have this light off right now just because I just used the cord for the one over the table where I just trained the auto flower. So uh, anyway, we're st it's still doing okay. We're still getting some pretty good growth going on here. And like I said, we still got at least four weeks to go on these. So uh, anyway, we'll talk more about these in the next video. Okay guys, uh, that's it for this one. We'll come back next week. We'll keep updating on the seedlings. I kind of want to take everybody through the whole seedling stage because I've had people, I've had a lot of people asking about how to, how to feed their seedlings and so on and so forth. So uh, I'm going to do weekly updates on those. And we'll also take a look at the Skittles uh, from ilovegrowingmarijuana.com, the autoflower that we just trained. And uh, we'll see how she makes out and see if we can kind of hold off that flower a little bit so that we can, we can make the most out of that training, give her a little bit of veg growth. So, so we'll check that out too. And be sure to check out my Instagram. Uh, I've been putting just a couple of updates on there on the seedlings and stuff. So uh, I'll put a link in the description for that if you want to check that out. Um, if you're looking for updates through the week, I'll, I'll throw a few things up there, some quick updates. Okay guys, thanks for watching. Like, share, subscribe, leave a comment down below, and we'll see you on the next one. Happy growing.